Today, I'm gonna to share my three favorite small cap semiconductor stocks that I think are great long-term investments. Now, these are pick and shovel type plays and they all share one primary trend, which I'll get to in a second. If you're new to the channel and you don't know my background, I've been investing since the late 1990s, around 25 years, and I manage my own multi-million dollar stock portfolio. I own all three of these stocks and I think they could be great long-term investments from this point. If this type of content is helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click that bell for notifications Notifications. So the primary trend that all three of these stock picks share is going to be automotive. Now one is laser focused on automotive. The other two have other areas of growth as well. This infographic here, guys, I shared this on the semiconductor video for our conference session series. And you can see the growth from 2021. You're looking at $44 billion to $80.7 billion in 2027. Now this is semiconductors strictly for automotive and the colors represent different segments within that growth. Now the total compound annual growth rate is around 11.1%, but you can see some areas have higher growth than others. And if you think of the road to 2030, so you look at car cars back in 2010, look at 2020, then look at 2030. So when you think of autonomous driving and ADOS systems, so that's advanced driver assistance systems and electrification overall, this is a huge mega trend. And if you look at full centralization, it goes from about 70 tops right here in 2020 to a thousand tops in 2030. So on your screen here, you see this infographic and this is not even fully autonomous. Applications from front view camera systems, you've got night vision, surround view cameras, all this requires semiconductors and related equipment. So automotive is being fueled, that growth's being fueled by electric vehicles, but really digitization as a whole. So if you look at vehicle sales here from 2016 to 2027, now this is gonna be in millions. So you're looking at 2027, about 16.2 billion vehicles. And you can see that's impressive growth from 2023. Now this is just for electric and battery electric vehicles. Electric vehicles accounted for 10% of global sales last year in 2022. And this could quadruple by 2030. So 10% of all new cars in 2022, that's an increase from 8.3% in 2021. EVs, of course, continue to become more popular year over year. And consumers are making the switch from gas powered ICE vehicles to battery powered ones across the world. And governments are encouraging this and even forcing it, doing things like the Inflation Reduction Act, giving tax credits and so on. Digitization of everything will push the share of semiconductors in the total new premium vehicle bill of materials or bomb to more than 20% by 2030, that's up more than 5X from 4% in 2019. So vehicles are becoming more so, they're essentially computers on wheels. So what are some pick and shovel plays that can benefit? We'll get to three of those here in a second. This infographic here showed you that growth, 4% in 2019, 12% 2025, and 20% by 2030 on that bill of materials or bomb. So the total addressable market for automotive silicon will more than double by the end of the decade, 2030 to $115 billion, approximately 11% of the entire market. This is a secular growth trend, a mega trend, and we want to find stock picks that will benefit from it. So the first stock is Indy Semiconductor. Now, Indy is laser focused on the automotive segment. So you think of ADOS systems, autonomous driving, connectivity, user experience, and electrification. Now, this is going to be huge for Indy. They're going to acquire Geo Semiconductor. Geo is rich with IP and technology, and I think this is a great acquisition. Brings innovative and field proven camera based sensing and viewing solutions for ADOS applications. It really helps round out Indy's portfolio when you think of LiDAR, ultrasound, computer vision and so on. And Indy has done several different acquisitions and that M&A has been very strong. They're really trying to build a powerhouse that's laser focused on the automotive segment for semiconductors. Geo is also going to give Indy exposure to places like Europe, China, Japan, Korea and Taiwan instantly. Now this deal is expected to close in this quarter, Q1 of 2023. And this acquisition, guys, is going to be huge for Indy. It's gonna help with their path to profitability. It's gonna help boost some of their growth here in 2023. Now, before I go on, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell for notifications. I'm trying to grow this channel to over 40,000 subscribers in 2023, and you can help me out by subscribing today. They just reported earnings just about a week ago. Their Q4 gap EPS, it was negative, negative 15 cents 
cents, but it beat by five cents. Revenue of $33 million, growth of 74% year over year. And they've been growing at 70 and 100% quarter over quarter, year over year. They're crushing it. Indy also expanded their Q4 non-GAAP gross margin to 52.2%. If you look at the 2022 annual revenue, it was up 129% year over year. Not only do they continue to develop new products, they're also making more acquisitions and they're winning more deals. This is a pure play focus on automotive semiconductors. They're in their hyper growth stage and they're nearing profitability while they're growing at an amazing clip. The TAM on this is estimated around $60 billion. And I interviewed the CEO a year ago on the channel and he told us about this. In the previous slide, I talked about 2030, that TAM could be $115 billion or more. And this trades at 11 price of sales, so it's not cheap. It was just a five, $6 stock and it's run pretty hard. It has a $1.5 billion market cap. So think about that for a second. Of course, their SAM is not the same as the TAM, but $115 billion in the next seven years for the total addressable market. At $1.5 billion, a 10X would be a $15 billion market cap. Could they capture maybe 30% like the CEO told us that they could a year ago? If they do, this could easily be a 10X stock. And this is key right here. Forecast $160 million Q1 annualized revenue run rate, profitability by second half of 2023 this year. And the CEO told us this was going to happen a year ago in February of 2022 on this channel. There's a video that you can go watch. It's a 30, 40 minute video, an interview with the CEO of Indy Semiconductor. And he told us this a year ago. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that bell for notifications. The second stock is SideTime. Now this is a precision timing company. They're focused on MEMS chips, precision timing versus the older quartz technology. Our programmable solutions offer a rich feature set that enables customer to differentiate their products with higher performance, smaller size, lower power, and better reliability. And this is critical for the higher end products. Everything from Apple, which is their largest customers, to Tesla with their Dojo system, to electric vehicles in general. And I'm gonna share a couple different companies they're working with that are new customers and even aerospace and defense. You think of rocket ships and satellites, it's very critical. These are high-end products and they need reliability, they need performance, and these companies are willing to pay a premium for that. So reasons to buy side time, advancements in data centers. So they're, they're gonna capitalize on several of these mega trends, not just automotive, but automotive is a new and upcoming segment of their business. But you think of data centers, 5G, internet of things, aerospace and defense, automotive, and more. These secular growth trends have led to increased demand for precision timing solutions. This is a pick and shovel play that will benefit from these mega trends. On SideTime's most recent earnings call, this is a quote, this will continue to expand our SAM from about a billion dollars last year to about $4 billion this year or 4 billion by 2024. They're also sitting on about $560 million of cash and cash equivalents. That's a lot of cash for a market cap of this size. Total assets is about $678 million. They only have about $45.7 million in liabilities, zero debt. So side times a $2.5 billion market cap. And it's sitting on $560 million of cash. That's a lot of cash for a market cap of this size, like I said, and it can easily 5X. You think of 5X from $2.5 billion market cap, it only needs to get to $12.5 billion. It could easily do that. It could easily be a 10X from here. Now that's not saying the stock is cheap and you should go buy it hand over fist. It was just a $75 stock. But in any kind of pullback, I think this could be an opportunity, especially if you're a long-term investor thinking five plus years out. So it is expensive right now, sitting at around $115. PE ratio, but it is profitable and it does have strong growth. In fact, they have a total of nine new products and new customers within aerospace and defense and automotive specifically. Now, this was a comment on one of my videos on the YouTube channel, and it says, if you want to invest in artificial intelligence company, then buy SideTime, a little semiconductor company in the heart of Silicon Valley. Here's a list of their customers. Now, this is from someone who says that he's worked there for 14 years, and we knew about Apple, we knew about Tesla, we knew about Google and Microsoft, but here's some new ones that I was not aware of. Neo, Rivian, Lucid, 
SpaceX, Raytheon, NOC, and Lockheed Martin. Now we just did the space exploration video this last Friday and we talked about some fringe plays like Lockheed Martin, but SciTime is working according to this directly with SpaceX. And this is a fairly new development here. This is something they just announced. They announced some new customers their last earnings report, but they didn't name them specifically. So again, this is a pick and shovel play for some important businesses that I wanna be a part of. I mean, you think of data center, 5G, Internet of Things, autonomous vehicles, even space exploration. They even have a brand new part of their website here that's talking just about aerospace and defense that I didn't notice the last time I visited. So it's talking about their product Endura, delivers up to 5X better stability and 10X better resilience. If you're shooting rockets in outer space, you want this to be stable and reliable and they're willing to pay a premium to a company like SciTime for that. Now, before I go on, guys, I need to announce this video is sponsored by The Motley Fool. If you'd like to see the 10 best stocks to buy now, visit fool.com forward slash fired up wealth. You can also check out our private community and Discord by visiting patreon.com forward slash fired up wealth. The third stock on the list, ACLS is the ticker. The company is Excellus. So this is a semiconductor equipment manufacturer. They sell their products to foundries. The foundries make the semiconductors. This is another pick and shovel play, but different than the other two, because this is focused more on building the equipment that actually manufactures the semiconductors themselves. And the primary reason I'm bullish on this company is their primary driver for growth and their primary focus really is going to be around automotive and electric vehicles. And I mentioned earlier, global EV sales were 10% of automotive sales in 2022. There's a lot of room for growth. There's a huge total addressable market. This is a $4 billion market cap. We bought this in Discord back in 2021. It was only a $1 billion market cap. So a very nice return in just a couple of years. And this is why it's important to be part of our Discord community because I haven't talked about this stock on the YouTube channel very often, but we were buying this thing when it was in the $30, $40 range. It has around a 22 PE ratio, a little bit less than that now. Now, but very strong growth and profit margin. So this, in my opinion, is a very reasonable valuation. The risk and the reason why it's probably not even more expensive, the company has a high dependency on China. I hope this video is helpful, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel. Click that bell for notifications. Drop me a like, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about these stock picks. Drop me a comment below. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.